Well, 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 like every good software engineer, my time has also come to try to get rich with my own software project. I mean, this appears to be the dream of everyone working in this industry. You know, create your own software project and have it run on autopilot while it pays you at least 30k per month, right? But you guys know how it is, the reality looks totally different. It doesn't happen very often where someone creates a software that just immediately makes him rich or have it bought by Google for 100 million. Nope, usually the developer, if it's only one person, invested hundreds or thousands of hours into his little passion project. And since I'm still pretty early in my little passion project here, I really want to take you guys along on this journey and also document it for myself to look back at. One thing people that are new to software development often underestimate is how much time and effort is actually needed to create a usable and polished product that is ready to be put on the market. Software development takes time. I mean, why else is it normal for projects to have multiple years of initial development time with larger developer teams working on it? Creating something simple as just a user registration and login can take multiple days to finish. I'm obviously not talking about a plain HTML login. No, I mean a professional and secure, fully styled login and registration with password reset, email sending, authentication management, etc. The list keeps getting longer, but you get what I'm saying. Everything just takes so much time. Time I don't really have at the moment working in my full-time job. I'm 100% sure that a lot of you guys watching can relate to this. When you are working full-time, for me that is Monday till Friday, 8.5 hours per day with 30 minutes lunch that doesn't count into the working time by the way. And it doesn't even matter what job you're working in, because when you finally get home, maybe go to the gym and eat something, you're done. You're tired. At least I am. And for a couple years now I'm trying to balance everything I do out of my job after work in the evening or on the weekend. And that did work okay for the last couple of years. But meanwhile I have this YouTube channel here which is just a huge passion of mine and I definitely won't stop doing that. I have my small agency doing small website projects and now want to start working on a larger software project as well. At some point I just got tired. Right now the quality of the work I can output in the evening after spending most of my brain power in my job is a lot lower than I would like it to be, and this doesn't get better. For example, in the morning when I'm in the office, I get stuff done so much faster and better than pretty much everything I touch when I'm coming home from work and after going to the gym. To be honest, I would just like to lay down on the sofa and watch a show or maybe play a video game with some friends, but doing everything I do, I rarely take time to do something like this anymore. So I just realized that if I want to take this project seriously and actually try my best creating something that could give me financial independence and location and time freedom and what else all these fancy words are, I need more time. And the only way to achieve this is working less days in my job and use all of that time where I'm not tired and put it into this project. Even though I am a software developer and I'm familiar with the technologies I'm using, I still need to learn a lot of new things to build this project. For example, I've had to make some difficult decisions about software architecture and my tech stack. Decisions that will impact how I build everything moving forward. And then there's the whole DevOps side of things, which is a completely different beast. Setting up servers, working with Docker Swarm and Kubernetes, and building automated deployment pipelines are all things I've kinda touched before, but never really mastered. And I'm pretty sure I'm not alone with this. A lot of you guys are probably also struggling to level up some of your skills, whether it's for work, your own project, or just learning something new. That's why I want to tell you about Wisdom Plan. The team at Wisdom Plan has created an AI-powered learning platform that's perfect for anyone who wants to learn something specific, fast, and most importantly, in a way that works best for them. It doesn't matter if you are a software engineer like me, a student, or just someone who's trying to pick up a new skill. Wisdom Plan can create a personalized learning path tailored to your exact goals and learning style. Here's how it works. You start by telling Wisdom Plan exactly what you want to learn, like in my case, DevOps for my SaaS project. As I told you before, I want to primarily focus on how to set up servers, build pipelines and manage my containers with Docker Swarm or Kubernetes, and just understand the whole topic better. Next you will be asked about your background. Are you a complete beginner or maybe a professional developer who's just new to this topic? Based on your answer, Wisdom Plan adjusts everything to your needs. Then you can choose your preferred learning style, whether that's visual learning with videos, hands-on learning by doing, or with detailed articles and guides. After that, you just enter a time frame if you have a deadline or leave it blank. You can also specify how many hours you want to spend learning per week and that's it. Wisdom Plan creates a unique plan designed to fit your existing skills, learning 
learning style and schedule. I created a DevOps learning plan for myself to improve my knowledge. It pulled together a mix of YouTube videos and articles which I chose as my preferred learning style and built a logical step-by-step -step plan that's easy to follow. So if you want to learn something specific and just don't know where to start, check out Wisdom Plan with the link in the description. With my link, you will get a discount on their plans and a huge thanks to Wisdom Plan for supporting the channel. Something I've been thinking about for a long time before deciding to reduce my working days is how stable my financial situation is and will be. The current plan is to work only 4 days a week instead of 5, which means reducing my salary by 20%. And let's be real, 20% is a lot when you think about it. And this is also the reason why I haven't made this change sooner. The thought of losing this income was just too scary because I kept asking myself what if I need that money later or what if all of this just doesn't work out. Well, that exactly is the thing. You never know. There is absolutely no guarantee that my passion project here is going to generate even a single dollar. But you know what? I am still young, I don't have a family to support and I also don't have any major financial obligations tying me down. Plus, a nice little extra that happened recently is I got a raise at work. It's definitely not a 20% raise, but it's enough to soften the impact of the pay cut. And honestly, I don't think there's such a thing as perfect timing for something like this. The only thing I know is that I don't want to look back in 10 or 20 years and regret not giving this a shot when I had the freedom to do so. At the end of the day, there's always going to be some uncertainty or fear or a million reasons not to do it and stay in your comfort zone. But if I look at my past, I can say that a lot of good things happened when I took some risks and just went for it. So if you're also having a dream project or an idea you've been sitting on for a while now, don't just wait for the perfect timing. Just start now and even if it's just a small step, you'll thank yourself later. If you have a similar story or thinking about starting one, let me know in the comments, I would love to hear your stories. Check out Wisdom Plan with a link in the description and give it a try if you want to improve your skills. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see how my journey is going and as always, thank you for watching and sticking around till the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.